Human beings have two copies of every gene. We inherit one copy from our mother and one from our father. We all carry between six to seven recessive non-working genes, but we are healthy because the other copy of the gene compensates. This only becomes a problem where partners carry copies of the same non-working gene. If both parents carry the same non-working gene and both pass on the non-working copy to a child, the child will have no working gene to compensate. In this case, the child will be affected by an autosomal recessive disorder. In this example, Anne and John are perfectly healthy, but each carries a copy of the same non-working gene. Both are healthy because the normal working copy of the gene compensates. However, when it comes to having children, if Anne and John both pass a copy of this non-working gene onto a child, the child will inherit two non-working copies of the gene. As they will have no normal working copy to compensate, the child will be affected by the disorder. The risk of this happening to every pregnancy to this couple is one in four. If Anne passed on the non-working gene and John the normal working gene copy, then the child will be a healthy carrier, just like its parents. The opposite could also happen with John passing on the non-working gene and Anne the normal working copy. And again, the baby would be healthy. If Anne and John both pass on the working copy of the gene, the child will be healthy and won't even be a carrier. So as you can see, parents who are both carriers of the same recessive gene have a three in four chance of having a healthy child with each pregnancy. We tend to see higher rates of recessive genetic disorders amongst children from relationships where the parents are related. This is known as consanguinity. It is much more likely to occur in the case of cousins due to shared grandparents. This is why genetic disorders tend to occur more frequently in marriages between cousins.